Hey everybody, it's time for the first cooking lab of the year, which means it's time for some blueberry muffins. Step one is to get all of your ingredients and materials together and ready. When we start measuring ingredients, we're going to start with the flour. You need one and a half cups for this recipe. So I've scooped up my flour and I'm going to use the back side, the flat side of a butter knife to level this off because I don't have a leveler at my house. We need one and a half cups like I just said. So here's my one cup, here's my half cup and the two of those go in the bowl together. You'll notice they're both leveled. Now with a separate clean measuring cup and a separate clean leveler, I've measured out three quarters of a cup of sugar and I've added that to the mixture. Up next, you're going to need to add two teaspoons of baking powder. Baking powder is the leavening agent for this recipe. It's the thing that makes your muffins rise. And you can see I'm leveling that over the baking powder container and I've got two individual teaspoons that I'm adding in there. Please remember, separate clean utensils every time. I've got a half a teaspoon of salt added in there, which I measured over the sink so I didn't make a mess. And then I'm gonna stir that together. Now we're gonna put our dry ingredients to the side, get a measuring cup and do our liquid ingredient measuring. So you're gonna start with one third of a cup of vegetable oil. And you wanna make sure that you're checking your levels on that. Then it's either add an egg or unsweetened applesauce as an egg substitute. It's one third of a cup of unsweetened applesauce that we use here at school. When we pour that in, then we're gonna fill the rest of the way up to the one cup line with our orange juice. And the reason we measure this in a cup together is that you need one cup liquid in total and sometimes the eggs are slightly different sizes so you have to just kind of make up the difference with a little bit of extra orange juice. The directions actually say one third of a cup to a half a cup of orange juice. Then we're gonna add in on top of that one cup of liquid, just a teaspoon of vanilla. And I always measure this over my item. If I spill an extra drop or two of vanilla, it's fine. That won't make a big difference. I mean, don't spill a lot though, that wouldn't be great. And then you're going to take your fork or a small whisk and you're gonna stir that up until it looks like one consistent liquid and pour it directly into the bowl. Using your wooden spoon, and you wanna use the back of the spoon, it works a lot better, stir this together until it's one consistent looking dough. Once you've got it all stirred together, it's kind of going to clump together in a big ball, then you're going to dump in your one cup of blueberries. Now blueberries are kind of soft, so when you're stirring these, don't stir too hard. You don't want to break them all apart and squeeze all the juice out of them and have your uh, muffin batter turn totally purple. I mean, if you do, it'll work out fine in the end, but it just uh, might be a little bit drier than if you can gently do this and not squish all of your blueberries. Now you're ready to transfer your batter into your prepared muffin cups. Get a spoon from the drawer and a butter knife, scoop up some batter and just use your knife to pop it off the spoon and directly into the muffin cup. You wanna keep them all about the same size. As you're working your way through, if you find that some of them are a little bigger, or some of them are a little smaller, you can even that up pretty quickly. And you don't wanna leave any batter in the bowl. So get your bowl scraper, that's your rubber spatula, and scrape up all of the leftover batter in that bowl and add it directly into your muffins. Even them up, get them all about the same size. Now I'm gonna offer you a professional tip here. Grab a piece of paper towel and make sure you wipe any spilled batter off of your muffin pan so that you don't have to scrub that off a little bit later on. Now we're ready to pop our muffins in the oven. Uh, it should be preheated to 400 degrees and you wanna bake them for 15 to 20 minutes. You can check them at the 15 minute mark. When you take them out of the oven, you wanna lay them on the front part of the oven. That burner in the back is your heat vent, so don't lay it on top of that. They'll keep getting heated up. When you've got them laid down in the front, you can take a toothpick and you can poke it into the center of your largest couple of muffins. If it comes out uh, dry, then you're good to go. If it comes out a little bit wet and sticky, then you wanna pop them back in for another couple of minutes. When they're cooked all the way through, you wanna let them sit for a couple of minutes and then transfer them to a cooling rack. I use the back end of a spoon to help pop them out of the muffin pan. And that's it, that's all that's to them. Blueberry muffins, Cardinals, enjoy.